G'day, I'm Simon Barthold and I'm Langer UK's International Clinical Director. This is Langer TV and we've, uh, over the last few days, been talking about uh, some injury issues, shin pain, heel pain, knee pain. Today I'm going to talk to you about something very exciting and here it is. I know what you're thinking, oh no, another sandal. He's not going to talk about that, but I am. This is called Place from Langer UK. And the reason that I'm uh, so excited to talk to you about this is that it features uh, new technology. It's called biomechanical footbed technology. And uh, I'm going to go into that with you in just a moment. What I want to do first is, I guess, talk a little bit about um, orthotic therapy, which I think is mired in myth and folklore often misinformation. Um, I see a lot on the internet about uh, different terms, um, what, they, what an orthotic can and can't do, and I think it's very important in simple terms we talk about what it can do. Now, this is a foot, or it used to be a foot at one point in time, um, and what most orthotic therapy talks about addressing is pronation. It's really important you understand that pronation is a, is a movement of a body segment. So if I pronate my hand, it simply moves, uh, moves in that direction. Pronation of the foot occurs at the joint called the subtalar joint. It's a joint between this little bone here, the talus, and the heel bone, and it simply allows the foot to roll down. Now the key issue here is that pronation is absolutely stone cold normal. If you don't pronate, you can't walk and you can't run. So when I hear people talking about controlling pronation with an orthotic device or a shoe, I'm immediately deeply suspicious about that because if you control it or restrict it in any way, it's going to restrict normal movement. So I think very, very important that we understand that uh, we should get away from that, that concept of motion control. We really need to be thinking more about motion enhancement as being where we want to go. An orthotic can be built a couple of different ways. We talk often about a custom orthotic. Um, that's generally made from a plaster cast, which looks like this. And we then take uh, either a plastic or uh, an EVA-based material. We mould it under heat and pressure down onto this modified cast, and we end up with a product that looks like this. Um, this is an EVA product. Um, people often get confused about whether it should be three-quarter length or full length. Every single orthotic is three-quarter length. The functional unit of the orthotic is from here back. So the functional unit ends just behind the ball of the foot. This section at the front is just here for comfort. It doesn't have any real role uh, in terms of, uh, uh, of what it does at all. Um, so every orthotic is the same. It will just have a different top cover on it. You can also build a custom orthotic from a laser scan of the foot, uh, which creates a three-dimensional model, goes off electronically to a lab, and they will then build a device. In fact, this is exactly how this device has been made. Um, I really like this system, very accurate, uh, very, very clean, uh, very easy. The other type of orthotic device is what we call a prefab. This is one of uh, Langer UK's uh, exceptional products. I really like this product. Very different to other product on the market because it has uh, very nice contours uh, that match very evenly what we'd expect from a, uh, a custom-built orthotic device. Is one type of device better than the other? Well, not really. The research tells us that a prefab will work just as well as a, uh, a custom-built orthotic device. The only difference is that perhaps at the pointy end of prescription, what you're trying to achieve, you might be able to uh, uh, perhaps uh, uh, achieve a little bit more with a custom-built orthotic device. Again, the take-home message is please understand that it doesn't really change angles. Um, we see so many times that uh, I see videos all the time where lines are drawn down the back of the leg, down the back of the heel, um, get the, uh, the client to step onto the orthotic and hey presto those lines disappear or they become more vertical. Uh, that's the magic of television folks, that's not actually the way it works. Begs the next question, how does it work? Well I think our understanding now is that every single tissue in the human body, whether it be bone, muscle, tendon, ligament, works within an optimum zone. Um, so in other words, Living is a stressful uh, occupation, so every part of our human body is stressed um, during daily activities and especially during sport. As an example, if we look at bone, um, bone works within a certain stress level. If you continue to repeat that stress, and especially if you take it outside the, the bone's ability to absorb that stress, it will fail, and we call that a stress fracture. So the goal is always to try to keep a tissue within that normal zone, that, that, that envelope in which it, uh, it will function normally. I think that's how an orthotic works. 
So I don't think it changes angles. I think what it basically does is contour to the foot. It sends a signal to the brain, which then um, allows the muscles to operate uh, in a more efficient way. Uh, it allows the joints to, uh, to work more efficiently and it helps to, uh, to reduce the stresses through all of those structures, okay? It's a fairly simple concept. So we're talking about stress reduction, we're talking about working within an optimum zone and it's probably that simple. And that's from the moment of heel strike through to the moment of toe off. So that's how an orthotic works. We started off this discussion with this uh, terrific new product. What's the point of difference? Well, the main point of difference is it looks fantastic, nice and sparkly. Materials are fantastic, really nice stitching all throughout the product. It has nice little features like you can see, it has a little expansion gusset here, so the fit of the sandal is much better. But the key issue here is in terms of the footbed in the actual device. Okay, this is biomechanical footbed technology. And the, uh, the very cool thing about this is that the technology that's used in this state-of-the-art um, uh, prefab orthotic technology is exactly the same as the technology that's used in this sandal. So we really do have an everyday piece of footwear that has very high-end, um, very well-conceived orthotic technology built into the shoe. It's quite different from any other product in the market. When you look at it, you'll see the contouring of the device throughout the footbed is very accurate. Um, it offers great feedback to the sole of the foot and that, I think, is what will allow us to reduce stress uh, through especially the lower limb and help the muscles to work more efficiently. So this is the new Place technology from Lange UK. You're going to see it very soon. I think your uh, customers are going to absolutely love this sandal.